Okay, now it's all crystal clear. We have around 300 square meters of land that I gift. <laughs> all the way from down there, all the way up, like a 10 meter wide and 30, around 30 meters long path. Uh, part of the land is, is not on the certificate and we didn't pay for it. And it's a gift by the owner. <laughs> Good morning friends, back home. For the past four days we stayed in the south of Bali in Uluwatu, where Leo's mom is living with the family and I didn't film any video because we were, <laughs> we had a lot of footage from before. We filmed each and every day for the past, I don't know, two weeks and uh, we're not that fast with editing. Currently onboarding Anastasia, she's editing some videos, I'm editing some videos. And yeah, this process uh, um, is not as fast as we are, as we were recording. And that's why for the past four days we didn't film anything. But now we're back. Yesterday in the evening I brought my mom to the airport. She flew back to Germany after four weeks of staying with us here. I'm uh, very grateful for this experience. And at the same time it's, it's good for her to go back to her routines. And the, the time here with us wasn't, wasn't easy for her. It was quite quite challenging yeah and at the same time it was very beautiful to spend more time with Leo with her grandson and um, yeah we're doing the work on the inside and on the outside almost her whole life my mom has been struggling with severe depression the result of a very 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 difficult childhood with a very authoritarian father my grandpa not the husband of my grandma that's still here but my um, my other side of the family my grandpa passed away um, recently and as a result, like, yeah, she's still carrying this, this burden into the present. And it means that when there is a lot of stability in her life and predictability and she knows each and every person and has like full trust and has ample time to rest and all that, then she's quite, quite good, like with her being 56 like there's still this like childish curiosity and excitement inside of her and at the same time there's this part that is easily overwhelmed and since last week she um, hurt her ankle while walking in the evening in the grass but I was spending most of the time in bed because the foot was like was not broken but yeah hurting a lot and as a result of that she was not really part of the part of the group felt isolated and yeah the process was difficult and I tried to care to care for her as best as I could while at the same time caring for Lionel while at the same time like being there for for everybody else and it was a it was a challenging journey for me too over the past days. Are you ready to try this? Yes, I'm ready to try, try this. Try it. Try this first sow of your life. Okay, sow. I'm ready for you. Mm. Is it good? It's very good. <laughs> it's sweet? 
Mm -hmm. It's like you said. Yeah. Like caramel a little bit. Yeah. It's like pear and yes, uh, and pear. khaki. A little bit khaki too. Yeah. yeah. Pear car caramelized pear. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's very sugary and, and tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the most mango somebody ever bought, huh? How many kilo? Let's see. 15. Lima blast kilo. Blum, blum, blum. Wow. The scale cannot handle. Wow. <laughs> too much. Too, too much. Too much. Wow. Nam blast kilo. 16. Fruit. Yeah. Fruit. Yeah. Yeah. You can eat without cooking yeah. already? No, no. No cooking, no need no, to cook. No cooking. Like now? Yeah. What? Oh, does it need to be soft? Wait more. Just on that way. You can so. open the skin. Yeah. You can eat. No? No. Yeah. Really? Slip. 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 On that way, just remove the skin. Yeah. Wash it from the sand. Okay. And then. It's crunchy it's and good. watery. You like it? Yes. It's, like it? it's refreshing. Wow. If give you a sample, you can try. Why not? Okay. This looks like cloudy. Oh. It's a little bit like nothing. Mm -hmm. Like a... Like... I don't know. A little bit like nothing. It's not very, not very spectacular. Not sweet, not sour, not. Tastes a little bit like a raw potato. <laughs> I think the sa the sour is better. Sour is better, but you can try too. Like nothing, huh? <laughs> and also, it's starchy. Yeah. So it is like. Yeah. It's a root. Something. It's a yeah. root. In China import. Yes, everything. Individually, plastic wraps. Yeah. For what reason? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we have so many beautiful like Bali, Bali fruits. Why bothering to buy this? <laughs> right, we're the beautiful, beautiful market hall. Stocked up for the upcoming days, um, especially for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna welcome some beautiful people here at our home. Very excited for that. But let me add one more thought regarding my mom's departure from, from Bali. Although, and I shared that many times already, although it's definitely my, my, my vision to bring the whole family together and even to support my mom on her healing journey in the sense that this can take place here in Bali as powerful as as, as nowhere else and at the same time a system can only hold a certain amount of tension and where we are right now with the setting we have and all the other things that are going on it's it's not the right thing for her to stay like full time here because the system cannot hold that the, f the four weeks were absolutely perfect and now she's going back and it's definitely the right thing and then at a future moment in time, when the setting is even stronger, when the setting can even hold more tension, can even give more support, when there are even more people, like, and more care, and, yeah, then we can make the next step. And then she can come back. Maybe she'll come for a couple of months. And things will be, yeah, a little bit easier. Yeah. And that's definitely something that, um where I see a, a development inside myself, like where in the past there was this, this like strong, <laughs> strong sense of what's the, what's the right thing to do, what's the ultimate, what's the vision, what's the, what's the potential and trying to force that, trying to push that into existence, trying to make that happen at all costs. Now there's a more realistic part inside myself that asks, okay, what, what is the right thing in the here and now? What are we capable of in the here and now? And don't overestimate that and don't push this set push, push this setting to beyond its capabilities. Um, because this will do no good. As I as I learned in the past. Yeah. By trying to force the 
for example, the community setting into existence like too too fast and too quickly with our Thrive Villages, with our two community projects here in Bali and in, and in Portugal. And now there's this part inside myself that grew stronger and grew more, more, I would say, took more center stage that says like, give things time, one step at a time. Don't rush, don't hurry, don't force. Yeah. Oh my god! Nein, es ist nichts passiert. Wow. There's a lot of space here. A lot of space for parking. And this is where the, all the material will be put. Like the four meter bumper fillers. And after the construction phase we can uh, use that as a parking for like a lot of scooters and maybe even like a shared community car. Wow. Oh nice. Look, this is where the where our first building will be. Ah, okay. Yes, here will be the little hut. Ah. Two by two with a little roof, little bamboo hut, two by two with a sitting area. And uh, this is where we'll put the uh, the electricity. And uh, at the same time, this is the, that's the welcoming space where <laughs> you can sit here and be like, hey, new people are arriving and um, and this will already be finished by the end of the week. Super mm. crazy. Super crazy. Yeah. And they... I'm very happy because for, for the past six days I've, I've not been here. But the workers have really let all the trees live. And that's not, not the only update. Super nice. The border, the border squad, they went to work too. They put all these... Uh, these are the... Where are the purple flowers? We cannot see them. We go. We go upstairs, and there we see some. Ah, this is this one. This is the this is the purple flower with which in in Bali they indicate where the border is. And the team had the task to do like the whole border, even all the way up. Let's see if they are already finished or not. <laughs> um, with these ones, so that we know exactly where we can build and where um, where the neighbor land is. So yeah, that's six mm -hmm. days. We're probably good and productive and no harm was caused <laughs> on the scooter I said I said to Mara that like uh, I'm like of course there's this excitement what good did they do but there was even the stronger part inside myself that was like hopefully they didn't do any harm and mm -hmm. they didn't do any harm even though we are not here very nice very nice all right friends we're still trying to figure out the border the border confusion now it's getting a little bit more clear because they they are putting the purple flowers here all the way down but this in the back where Mara is technically shouldn't be a part of our land according to the topography map but I guess this is a gift <laughs> I guess it's a gift technically the border should go like here we are currently here here's the highest point on the land and technically where Mara is the border should go straight but it goes like this here. So this little part that is technically not on the land, according to the to the certificate, it's on the land now. They are almost done with the border work, I see. Here's the lowest part of the land. Here's the little, little stream in the raining season. Now it's dry, but in the raining season, this will carry a little bit of water. And here's the lowest part, and then it goes all the way uphill. There's even a little path here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like it down here. The team did a great, did a great job over the past days, even though I was not here. Happy. Happy, happy. Okay, now it's all crystal clear. We have around 300 square meters of land that I gift. <laughs> all the way from down there, where I where I was standing, where the red dot is on the on the bamboo, all the way up, like a 10 meter wide and 30 around 30 meters long, 
path, uh, part of the land is is not on the certificate and we didn't pay for it and it's a gift by the owner. <laughs> Incredible. This is where we are standing currently is where I can see my personal home in the future. For now, we'll continue to build on the other side, but this part here, maybe in phase two, 2025, could be the place where I'll be waking up in the morning. Yeah. Protected by the big bamboo. <laughs> Super nice. All right, back home. From our long-term home to our temporary home. That's it for today. Grateful for the next steps on many different realms, the land and our little family community setting. So yeah, grateful. Grateful to be able to walk another step on this path. Walking the steps that are in alignment with the capacity of the current setting, what we can currently hold. That's why, um, yeah, Although I'd, I would love to have my mom here full time with us into the indefinite future. It's the right thing yeah, for her to, to be back in Germany. We will continue to build a setting, then she can come back and yeah, one step at a time. And if we continue to be in this sweet spot of walking the steps that, the, that are in alignment with the current capacity, then we're gonna go really, really far feel that tomorrow will be an exciting day tomorrow we're gonna welcome our newest co-creators to the team looking forward to be able to share that with you and if you sense that you want to be a part of all that that you want to join us here in Bali in December for our next cohort of custodians you find the application form here and the deck with further information for December we are almost at full capacity um, and I'm already planning the next space for 2025. We'll keep you posted when this is ready to be shared with the world. <laughs> In the meantime, wish you a beautiful day. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>